In this video, I will teach you how to use ONET Online, uh, which is a website put together uh, by the U.S. Uh, Department of Labor. <clears throat> and this, uh, this presentation will essentially teach you how to do research on careers using your MBTI and strong uh, assessment results. Your assessment results provide you with a variety of different information that can be used under the advanced search feature um, of ONET. But we'll go ahead and start with the more basic uh, information. So if you know what kind of uh, career you want to do research on, you could simply type in um, here under the keyword section what career it is that you want to look up. So for example, you might want to do police officer. And what you'll see is a ranking of the different positions that come up. The relevance is the relevance score here at the top is essentially based on uh, you know how closely the search uh, matches what you put in and it'll list out what is available to you <clears throat> the nice thing is is it will also show you these little bright circles that bright outlook means that those positions uh, tend to be growing quickly um, and is a bright out, uh, outlook for the future but if you uh, for example wanted to look at say police patrol officers what this does for you now is provide you a, a lot of detailed information uh, on a variety of different things about this career. So it really shows you the nitty gritty of the career of patrol officers uh, for the police department. Starts off with tasks. Um, it goes into tools and technology, you know, what types of things you'll be using, knowledge base, what types of things you should know or, or what things you'll know as a, a result of this job some of the skills that you'll need, the abilities, the work activities, work context, and so on. So it really gives you um, all you need to know about this position. It also shows you the percentages of um, people who have a high school diploma, associate degree, or some college. Um, really like how it talks about the interests. So if you've taken the strong, you will have a an, an interest uh, what they call the general occupational theme, the GOT, um, that relates to the Holland Code or the interest code uh, in, in the language of uh, ONET. And it also goes over your work styles, which is again something that you'll get from the, um, the report that is produced by the MBTI and the strong assessment. Um, so it really, you know, uh, can, can really get at some of the more um, the more detailed pieces of that report. Shows you related occupations, so if you're not particularly happy with what you're seeing or you just kinda wanna see some other things that are out there, um, it does show you some of those related occupations. And it gives you um, the trends and for um, you know growth, um, for the wages, and you can actually look up um, a state for that as well. Um, so if you want to go to the state level, which I would definitely, definitely recommend, that would be good. Um, <clears throat> so that's sort of how, how you would look at something very specific if you know that's exactly what you're looking for. Um, you could also look by, um, under this fine occupations, you can look under a lot of different things. If you know that you want to do something in the green economy, you can look under that. You can look by a career cluster. Um, and so this just gives you the op option to look at a variety of, of different, um, I would say fields, uh, you know, like finance, health science, human services. So you're not going to necessarily focus in too much on one thing, but it will list out a variety um, of different um, careers underneath that particular cluster. So you can see here, it gives you a lot of different things to look at. So if you maybe don't necessarily have a specific option in mind as of yet, but you know that there's a field you want to do research on, uh, that could uh, excuse me, potentially produce um, a, a few options for you to do more detailed research on. You can do the same thing with industry, um, job family, job zone, all different ways of looking into um, a specific um, grouping of, of careers and fields. So that way, again, you're not focusing on a career yet, but that can be a source of places to look for specific careers that you might want to look more detailed uh, at. The last one I really like on this one is the STEM discipline. And the reason why I like it is we is we hear more and more that <clears throat> STEM is is where there are lots of jobs, particularly in the United States, 
And so it could be a great place for those people who really feel like they have some strength in the math or the sciences or at least want to do some research and possibly go in that direction. You know, you can look up, you know, positions in environmental science, for example, and see what comes up. And as you can see, several have the bright outlook and they're uh, primarily uh, green oriented. So if you're using your, uh, your MBTI and strong assessment results, as you, have, as you know from looking at those results, they have a lot of inf uh, sections that detailed information. So it's not just the you know, top 10 occupations that they suggest, although certainly you could use that combined with ONET to research maybe two or three that you like. Um, but if nothing comes up from there and you want to, you know, if, if you look at that top 10 and you're like, eh, nothing there really suits me, you certainly could use the advanced search feature in ONET to dig deeper into other possibilities. You could start with your interests, for example. So, again, you have that uh, general occupational theme, the GOT, also known as the Holland Code. Um, and that's in the language of ONET, that's interests. And then you would pick um, the the interest that you would first start with. So, for example, if your code was an, an RAS, for example, you might start with R. And then you could choose, you can further narrow it down. You could put in your A and your S. Click Go. And so that they only have park naturalists over there. So maybe that's not enough. Maybe you want to, you know, only put in the R and the A. And that, that, that less of a detailed review produces a lot more options. You could even take the A out and just look at just the realistic jobs, the realistic careers. So none selected for second and third. And again, that list will even be longer. So, you know, just a, again, another way of, of com cooking up, if you will, a list of potential, um, you know, careers that might be good for you uh, and that you might want to do more career research on. Uh, there's another, a few other ways to do this. Um, you know, you have your preferred work styles, um, so you can use that. Um, I believe that's work. Let's see, is that work context? Let's see. No. Yeah. So you could do look under work values. Um, you could look under work activities. So there's lots of different ways that you can come up with, you know, a grouping of, of information and look and see what types of jobs or careers relate to that um, grouping of information. So really there's a lot of different ways that you can go through this um, and look to see what other things are available. Um, and, and you've done skill set assessments prior to this as well, so you could look at that too. Uh, the last one is you can look by um, you can look at education, you can look at military if, you, if those are things you're interested in. So there's lots of different ways to use ONET, but definitely you'll want to eventually look at it from. You'll definitely want to, you know, if if you know what position you want to research and do your report on, you'll definitely want to plug that into the occupation search here. If not. You know, if you don't know that yet, definitely use the find occupations and the advanced search to come up with at least a list of things you might be interested in researching. Just do a brief, you know, a brief look at the positions. So, for example, if I went back here, went back to realistic, and maybe I'm looking through this list and none of these things are interesting at first, but I get to nursery workers, you know, just look at the tasks for each one that you're brainstorming and see, now that sounds kind of interesting. Maybe I'll do, look even further down the list. That's how I would do it. Um, I would first come up with a brainstorm list of, you know, five to ten things. You already have that from your report, but if you're not happy with that, you could use the advanced search or the fine occupations to come up with some more options. Do that sort of task very high level summary review first and then once you find the three things that you really want to research for your assignment then you can go and boil it down a lot more so hopefully that helps you kind of get oriented to ONET um, it's a great website it will be very helpful uh, in this assignment uh, and helping you do research for your paper